So today we're going to be talking about how to turn your Apple devices into the perfect 4X trading machines. We got the iPhone, of course. And here we have the iPad. So of course everybody's not going to have both, but I'm going to show them to you because I use both just in case you're interested in how the iPad differs from the iPhone. Okay, so starting with the iPhone, how are you going to turn this into a Forex money-making machine? First thing you need to do, download the MetaTrader 4 app from the App Store. That's what it's going to look like. I recommend MetaTrader 4, not 5. Uh, I have no experience with 5, plus most all traders I know use MetaTrader 4. So you're going to download that app. Once you log into your account and you come to the trade screen, you should see your balance as well as your watch list. Now, any pairs that don't appear here on the list, you're going to need to add with that addition button. Uh, based on your what pairs your broker has available, you'll be able to add them to the watch list and execute orders on them by selecting the trade tab and, of course, the chart is where you're going to monitor all the movement so use metatrader 4 to make the trades let's look at some of these other apps you're going to put on your iphone in order to ride the market uh, my fx book is my economic news app of choice there are multiple apps you can use to get the economic news, but this one also comes with a portfolio. And also the calendar actually gives you a countdown of how much time is left before the next article appears. So next week all of these say one day two days right now but as we get into the hours it'll let you know how many hours is left based on your time zone that way you don't have to really watch the clock as much now of course all of these news articles over on the left hand side you're going to see whether it's low medium or high priority which kind of gives you an idea of what impact that news is going to have on the market you got your country that is affecting over on the right hand side actual news list on the left is highlighted in green if it's good news highlighted in bad i mean in red if it's bad news your prediction is in the middle and then the previous is on the right. And of course, how they determine whether it's good or bad news is based on what was predicted once the news releases. So up next, we got the Market Trends app. Get out of here. So Market Trends is a trend analyzer what the Market Trends app does is it tells you in what direction the price is moving in overall. So you go into the App Store, type in Market Trade Trends is going to pull up this app, download this to your phone. And when you open it up, it's going to list all the pairs that they have available and what you'll do is you'll use this as a confirmation not as a signal but as you're learning how to identify a trend on the chart based on candle structure and technical indicators if you use technical indicators once you confirm that the price is moving in one direction you can use this as a confirmation to say that the trend analyzer agrees on me, agrees with me according to the data. And you can see it uses two EMAs, RSI, and stochastic in order to determine the direction of the trend.
So this is just an extra confirmation that you're trading in the right direction. And you can actually set notifications on the pairs if you like. That way when it changes status, it'll notify you and you can check the charts out to see what moves need to be made. So next, I'm going to come over here to the Forex calculator. Now, unless you know how to do the math right off of the top of your head, this is going to be the easiest way to figure out what pips are worth based on the pair. It doesn't take into account the current price. So this is going to be ballpark, but it's going to be very close. So like with the standard Euro USD. A 0 0.01 is worth 10 cents per pip. And a 0 0.1 is worth $1 per pip. But if I change the pair to USDJPY, now one, a 0 0.1 is only worth 90 cents per pip. If I change it over to GBPJPY, also 90 cents per pip but if i change it to nzdcad now we're down to 76 cents per pip and that same 0.1 in gold versus the dollar hang on that's not right yeah that same 0.1 in gold versus the dollar is a whole five dollars per pip. So that's five times worth what is worth for Euro USD. If you're not aware of that, you're either gonna blow your account or make a lot of money and get real excited and then blow your account. <laughs> so you gotta know how to calculate your risk and make sure you're not risking too much of your balance to the point where drawback will margin call your account or blow your account out. That's how you're going to do that. Use the Forex calculator. Now, the Forex Hours app is very helpful because it's going to list what markets are open as well as which markets are closed and what time it is during each of those markets. And then you can also set alerts to let you know once each market opens. So as you may or may not know, six months during the year, markets open at one time. And then the other six months of the year, they open at another time. So unless you want to keep track of all of that, the best thing to do is download this Forex Hours app. And it's going to keep you up to date. So the Forex Hours app on iPhone looks just like this. And then that Forex Calculator app looks just like this, and they're both free. So moving on to the next app you're going to put on your iPhone. It's a fundamental analysis app, FX Strength. Now, what you're going to see on this FX Strength app is it starts with the H4 time frame and goes up to the monthly. The only way you can get the lower time frames on this app is to subscribe to it. But this much is free. So starting with the H4, you'll be able to see which country's currency is strong and which is weak and ideally you will want to match the strong countries with the weak countries in order to make good entries that are going to move in the direction you expect. Now, this is going to change depending on the time frame as well as you can see as I scroll back through the time. These numbers will shift around and the price will move accordingly. I've been monitoring this for enough time to know that. I'll also show you how this works on the iPad in the next segment of the video. So, FX strength, call levels. Now, you could very well set up pending orders 
to estimate areas of support and resistance that the price is going to react to and then jump in the trade automatically based on where the price is. But something else you can do is use this app called Call Levels where you can set an alert on any pair to let you know that at this price, I want to look for a buy or look for a sell or whatever it may be. So now, once the price for Euro USD hits 1.1883, which will probably be no time soon, I'm pretty sure that's trending down right now, but I would get a notification. And at that point, I could look to see if I want to enter the trade rather than be automatically thrown into it because there could be some high impact news coming out that day that I want to wait on or the, the price action just doesn't look like I want to enter a buy or the, the sell structure is currently on the chart. So call levels are coming handy. Next app I'm going to show you is called the Dashboard. This is probably one of the most helpful apps I am aware of. My favorite number one app for iPhone is coming next. It's the last app for the iPhone. But this is called Dashboard. And what you can do with this, first of all, this app is going to be for traders that like to monitor indicators. And all indicators is really giving you is data. Data helps you make intelligent decisions. So I'm not sure why people don't like indicators, but this app allows you to monitor basically every single indicator out there as well as some strategies. But what you'll do is you'll come here to the watch list. I'll show you from scratch if I wanted to set up CHFJPY for a watch list. I come over to my settings and each indicator I want to keep an eye on for CHFJPY or if I wanted to add multiple pairs to that watch list, I just come over here and turn on the indicator for watch list three. And now if anything changes with the Cajun Sin cross, the breakout alert, or the alligator moving average on the H1, H4, D1, I'll be notified. Now, once again, for the lower time frames, you have to subscribe to get that information. Um, obviously, lower time frame data is going to be more helpful for scalpers and helping you make money in the short term. So you normally charge to get that data on lower time frames but that's how you would use the dashboard app and when you go into the app store if you just search dashboard it might not come up so try searching forex signals dashboard Boom. Easy Indicators Dashboard is what it's called, and this is what it looks like. So you download that, play around with it, see how it works for you. And then lastly, for the iPhone, my number one go-to tool is called the Signals app. And the reason why I love this app, first of all, this app is going to come with, I believe, three, maybe four indicators for free. And then the rest of them are like $3 a piece, which is more than worth it, well worth it. Figure out how to find it, because with the iPhone, sometimes the apps aren't called or they're not labeled what they actually are. One second. Boom. So 
I'm going to copy the link and take me straight to the app store so you can see where to find this Signals app. Boom. Trading signals and analysis. That's what the app looks like. You'll come in here, download that. I've been using this app for about six months now, I believe. And what's going to happen once you open up a pair that you have available, you see here under Get More Pairs, you can buy the rest for $4 a piece or get them all for $55. i am not trying to advertise for the guy. Just want you to know how it works. I bought JBP, GP, J, GBP JPY because that's my favorite pair. And when I pull it up, it's going to let me know similar to that market trends at whether I'm trending in the buy or the sell. But this one actually has a meter where I can kind of view the price action by looking to see how fast those meters are moving. Now, price action to you may mean something different than it does to me. When I think price, price action, I'm looking to see how fast the price is moving. I'm looking to gauge the momentum to see if it's time to enter the trade or see if it's time to exit the trade. This app helps me do that because any new changes are always going to appear on the M1 first. So you'll see price swings come and go on the lower time frames. But overall, you want to wait for the lower time frames to line up with the higher time frames. And those are going to be the best times to enter the trade. Now, outside of the meter, what this app also does for you is it lists the data on all the technical indicators or a good chunk of them on every single time frame. So rather than you having to apply all of this to the charts, it's just all here for you. So on the one minute, I know where RSI is, MACD, average true range, rate of change, ADX, momentum, stochastic, all my moving averages, simple and exponential as well as weighted. And then also I can see all the candlesticks that are formed over the last however many candles it goes back. So on the M1, it went back 24 candles. That'd be the last 24 minutes. I get to see all the candle structures that were formed. On the one hour, I hit get analysis data. And now we got a new RSI. All the indicators have been updated to reflect this time frame. You see the moving averages as well as the last 21 candle structures for the hourly so that'd be the last 21 hours i can see whether the candle structure was bullish or bearish does it agree with the direction of the trend is there any momentum right now etc cetera, etc cetera. you kind of chain these you chain the data together to make good decisions on the market so hopefully this was helpful for you if you don't have an iPhone, maybe you're thinking about getting one now. But before you do that, let me show you how to get set up on the iPad. Okay, so we got the iPad on now. First thing I wanna show you, difference between the iPad and the iPhone is that you can actually multitask with these charts on MT4. So now I can tell up to four charts and monitor either the same pair on four different time frames or four different pairs or two different pairs on two different time frames maybe. But viewing the market in multiple time frames all at the same time has been very helpful for me, very effective as far as making accurate trades because I can see when the time frames agree with each other and I can also see when the price movement stretches across the time frames, which kind of shows me how fast the price is moving or when there's momentum in the market, a big swing coming. So that's basically the difference on MetaTrader 4 with iPad is the ability to, mul to monitor multiple charts. But I'm gonna also show you the difference in the strength meter not only can you monitor multiple time frames at the same time, but you have the option 
I think you can do a line chart on the iPhone as well. But here you can tile, look at three, look at two, look at all four. Or you got all of the time frames as soon as you get this app. It's going to give you M15, H1, H4, D1, weekly, monthly. But this app actually costs in the App Store, I believe it's $19.99. Once again, I'm not trying to advertise for anybody, but this app has been very helpful for me. So I want you to know how it works and how much it is ahead of time, in case you're interested. Okay, so the four is tricky. It's not going to show me the price because I already purchased it, but that's what it looks like. You can actually set alerts on here to let you know when countries, a currency is gaining strength over another. Like for instance, I had a triggered alert to let me know GPB, GBP was gaining strength and stronger than the JPY. So would that let me know while I was in a sell position on JPY? was that an uptrend was coming or upswing, not an uptrend, I'm sorry, an upswing. So I had a choice there whether to stay in the trade and pay the drawback or possibly hit my stop loss or just jump out there because I knew the price was gonna to start to rise. Depending on whether I was in profit or not at that point in time would have played a role in that decision. But this is all fundamental analysis. So you know when one pair, when the country on the left side of a pair is doing well, it's gonna push the price up. And when the country on the right side of a pair is doing well, it's gonna push the price down. So this is very helpful for scalpers to catch price swings up and down.